Greetings. Today's topic is normocytic anemia. We have been talking about anemia since the beginning of history. Uh, in my playlist um, called Hematology Oncology, there is like around 30 videos so far. So this is a series like it's supposed to be uh, watched in that order. So if you can go ahead and watch the previous videos. But for now, let's talk about normocytic anemia. We have talked about microcytic first, then macrocytic, and the last type is the normocytic anemia. Normal, normal cytic cells, normal sized RBCs. The MCV is 80 to 100. That's the normal MCV, that's why it's a normocytic anemia. Symptoms of anemia are the exact same tired and pale, pale and tired. Sometimes I have angina, and I can also get murmur, headache, as well as exercise intolerance. And here's your nice slide about hematopoiesis. The myeloid stem cells will give us the RBCs. And they have a lot of steps until they become mature RBCs. Reticulocytes are the baby RBCs. Mr. MCV always determines the type of anemia, microcytic, normocytic, or macrocytic. Normocytic anemia will have the normal MCV 80 to 100. So what's the difference? Let's say you have like a patient and you measure the MCV, it's 80 to 100. Can be a normal patient or can be a patient with a normocytic anemia. There is a difference between a normal patient and anemic patient. Huge difference. What's the difference? The normal patient has normal RBC count, normal hemoglobin, and hematocrit. The normocytic anemia has decreased RBC count, decreased hemoglobin, decreased hematocrit. Now let's get into it. So normocytic anemia, MCV is 80 to 100. So this is the normocytic anemia. Okay, fine. We have three main causes. Acute blood loss under production or over destruction i've made this word up over destruction is not a real thing i mean hemolysis increased destruction in acute blood loss as well as under production the reticulocyte index is less than 2.5 what is the reticulocyte index it is a doubly corrected reticulocyte count Reticulocyte count needs two corrections, and you can watch my previous video on reticulocytes because it's like a long topic. So for now, we have the acute blood loss and underproduction anemia with reticulocyte less than 2.5. However, in hemolysis, the reticulocyte index is more than 2.5. There is a lot of reticulocytes. Fine. Let's go to acute blood loss. Can be external cause, such as what? Knife wounds, car accidents, open fractures, or internal, such as a ruptured spleen, ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysm. Fine. And of course, the acute blood loss will lead to which type of shock? Yes, hypovolemic shock. Hypo, less volemic volume. Fine. First, in acute blood loss, everything will be fine. Really, yes. RBC count, hemoglobin, hematocrit, everything will be fine in the beginning. Then what will happen? Why is everything fine? Because you are losing blood. You are losing RBCs and you are losing plasma. Okay, that's in the beginning. So, you are losing both of them at the same rate. That's okay still normocytic. Then what will happen? Let's see. Here is your blood vessel. You are bleeding or losing blood, losing RBCs and plasma at the same rate, so that's normocytic anemia. Then plasma is replaced from the interstitium going to the blood vessel, so it will dilute your RBC count. So if you measure your RBC count, you will have less RBCs, RBC count, less hemoglobin and hematocrit. That's later. Earlier, you have, normos, you have normal. 
but later you have normal acidic anemia. So earlier you are normal. Later when plasma replaces is replaced from the interstitium, so we have more plasma than RBCs, this is normal acidic anemia, you will have decreased RBC count, decreased hemoglobin, and decreased hematocrit. I hope this one is clear. So, there is a problem when giving normal saline to a patient who is bleeding. Why is that? Because the patient is bleeding RBCs and plasma. Normal saline is kind of plasma, very similar. So you're giving plasma instead of giving both plasma and RBCs. Wow, so this is a problem? Yes, this is a problem. Be aware of that. You will have RBC deficit appearing. Why? Because saline is acting like plasma. That's why nowadays we have something called packed red cell back red cell are like bags okay of not blood but only the red blood cells one unit of pack red cells should increase your hemoglobin by one and increase your hematocrit by three that's a packed red cell okay fine we are done with this yeah until now Reticulocytes are low. The bone marrow starts to realize, wow, I need to produce more. So it produces more reticulocyte, but this will take around one week, maybe five to seven days, but it will take a lot of time. In the beginning, reticulocyte index is less than 2.5. Okay, good. How about underproduction? This will include iron deficiency anemia or anemia of chronic disease early. The bone is still having enough iron, but later it will be microcytic because the bone marrow ran out of iron. How about aplastic anemia? The bone marrow is useless. You get anemia, leukopenia, and thrombocytopenia, i.e. Pan cytopenia. Chronic renal failure. Why? Because of less EPO secreted as well as anemia of chronic disease. There is a relation between chronic renal failure and anemia of chronic disease. You have to watch my previous video on anemia of chronic disease. Also, malignancy by different mechanism. Okay, fine. Over destruction or hemolysis, reticulocyte index is more than 2.5, sometimes more than 3. Intrinsic versus extrinsic. Intrinsic meaning means the problem isn't in the blood vessel. Could be in the hemoglobin, such as sickle cell disease. We have hemoglobin S. Membrane defect, spherocytosis. Or enzyme deficiency, such as pyruvate kinase deficiency or glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency. How about an extrinsic? Yeah, a valve, like a stenotic aortic valve. Okay, and the RBCs while passing gets smashed and cheered, producing schistocytes. This is called macroangiopathic hemolytic anemia. How about complement problem or antibodies attacking this nice, cute RBCs? All of these are the causes of normocytic anemia. We will discuss them one by one in details in the upcoming videos but for now thank you for watching please get the main idea other than acute blood loss normal acidic anemia is either due to under production or over destruction and this will be the discussion later i'll see you in the next video take care study hard be well